Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll take you through this part replacement repair one step at a time. To replace the foam block in your GE dishwasher, you will need a quarter inch drill driver or nut driver, a 5 16 nut driver bit, channel lock pliers, and a flathead screwdriver. Before you attempt this, be sure to turn off the power to the appliance and shut off the water supply valve. Using the drill driver, unthread the two screws securing the toe kick and set it aside. Use channel lock pliers to unthread the water supply line elbow fitting from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Unplug the wire harness and routing clip connected to the door. Next, use a 5 16 drill driver to unthread the screw to release the junction box cover. Note the orientation of the power wires. Then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Use the flathead screwdriver to unthread the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief and power wires from the junction box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposal and feed it through the cabinet. Unthread the mounting screw securing the dishwasher to the countertop, cabinet, or floor. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. Now gently pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Detach the cable pulleys on both sides of the appliance. Open the dishwasher door and lift off the hinges to remove. Unthread the two quarter inch screws on the inner door. Slide the inner door up to remove it and place aside. Pull off the foam block. 
To install the new foam block, peel the backing release paper and securely press it onto the inner door covering the soap dispenser. Align the tabs of the inner door into the outer door grooves and slide down, locking it into place. Rethread the two screws into the inner door. Plug in the wire routing clip. Set the door back onto the hinges and shut the door. Plug in the wire harness from the door. Reattach the cable pulleys on both sides of the appliance. Confirm that the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary. Rethread the screws to secure the appliance to the countertop, cabinet, or floor. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or disposal. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the wires and strain relief nut in the junction box. Then thread and tighten the strain relief nut. Join the black wires together, the white wires together, and green wires together. Secure them with the wire nuts. With the wires positioned inside the junction box, realign the cover. And rethread the screw to secure. Reconnect the water supply line fitting to the inlet valve. Set the toe kick into place and secure with the two screws.
Turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and your dishwasher should be ready for use.